What's good guys, I'm Dave and today we're talking about the silencer drop pads from Titan Fitness. At $150 a set, these are significantly more affordable than other pads that you can find to drop barbells on, which is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference in sound when you drop a barbell with and without the silencer pads, share some positive and negatives about them, and let you know who I think these pads make the most sense for. Let's drop some bars. Okay, so I know that this is what you guys are here for, and I'm here to give the people what they want, so let's start with some sound comparisons. You can see that I'm only dropping 95 pounds on these. I know a lot of people drop more in these demos, but I've dropped up to 225 on these, and they've held up fine. So really just imagine the same difference, just a little bit louder as the barbell gets heavier. I shot these videos from the same distance away using the same barbell, the same plates, with no audio manipulation. Here's me dropping the bar from a deadlift position without silencer pads. Now here's me dropping from a deadlift position with the silencer pads. Instead of having you click back, I'll show it again. Okay, now here's me doing the same from the front rack position. Here's without the pads. Now here's with the pads. And to save you a click, here it is again. So there's a big difference in sound there, right? While it's not silent, it does help a lot. You especially notice on the rebound where the barbell would normally be bouncing and thumping on the floor. I think the sound difference came through pretty accurately, but in real life, when you drop a barbell on the pads, it kind of sounds like you sat down on a leather couch as hard as you possibly could. It's not super loud, but it's not completely silent. So you don't really get that mega thump from the barbell dropping on the ground, and you also don't get that clanging sound of the plates bouncing with the bar. Our garage is under our bathroom, so we can really hear the thump and almost feel the vibrations in the house when someone drops a barbell from overhead without using the pads. So if you're trying to avoid those really loud impact sounds throughout your garage and in your house, these are going to help a lot. It's not going to be silent, but you can lower the volume on the drops and really reduce the clanging metallic sound between the plates and the barbell that are almost unignorable. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. That'll help more people find it on YouTube. So in terms of positives, I think that there are a few with these silencer pads. Number one, they're cheaper than most, if not all, silencer pads that you can find online. They're very thick, they hold their shape, and they serve a different purpose than like those cheap foam puzzle mats that you see everywhere. By the way, if you've been thinking of trying it because I absolutely did, those foam puzzle mats are going to do absolutely nothing to dampen the sound of a heavy barbell dropping on the ground. Number two, they can handle some really heavy weights. Considering that you're probably dropping anywhere from 200 to 300 pounds or more on these, especially if you're dropping it from overhead, They'll squish down a little bit upon impact, but they come back up after you get the barbell off of them. Common sense, you don't want to leave a loaded barbell sitting on top of these for a really long time. If you take care of them, they'll take care of you. Next, they serve a few purposes. They obviously dampen sound, which is what they're made for, but they also help protect your floors on what I would assume are some of your heavier lifts. I've also used them as low blocks for heavy cleans and deadlifts before. It's certainly not a high block, but it's very convenient to be able to drop the barbell on them after using them in that way. And last, this is kind of stupid, but I do use them to prevent my barbell from rolling away. Our garage floor is not totally flat, so it's kind of nice to use them in that way when I already have them out. Now onto the negatives. The stitching on one of my pad covers started coming out just after light to moderate usage. Functionally, the stitching doesn't really affect anything, but it is kind of annoying to have it come out after you spent $150 on something. Also, before I got these, I thought that they would silence the initial drop a little bit more than they do. Physics and logic aside, I was expecting a little bit more of a pillow-like dampening effect. Obviously, the foam has to be pretty thick and firm to support the amount of weight that's being dropped on it and prevent the vibrations from just dropping straight into the floor, so that was unrealistic on my part. A weird thing with these is that it seems like Titan almost put the carrying handles on the wrong side. When you carry the pads around, the Titan logo is upside down. No one ever really sees me carrying these, and it's really not a big deal, but if things like this bother you, it will probably drive you a little bit crazy. Now, who do these make sense for? First, if you never drop a barbell at home, you do not need these. If you don't do any Olympic lifts or even do heavy cleans, you also don't need these. I really think that these make the most sense for people who live in a townhouse or a house with an attached garage, go heavy with their Olympic lifts, and live with other people. If you've never heard how loud it is when someone drops a jerk or a snatch from overhead in an attached garage, it's louder than you think. So if you're out there clanging and banging at 6 a.m. and your spouse complains that you're waking either them or the baby up, believe them. They're not making it up. 
Also, if your neighbors are the worst and kind of cause a stink about you doing Olympic lifting in your garage, this could help save you a lot of drama. That's what I got on these silencer pads, guys. I hope this video helped you decide if you want to add them to your home gym. If you've made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up or share it with that person who you're trying to convince to buy these for you. Thanks so much for watching and happy gymming.